This lesson will show how to determine the rank, basic variables, and free variables given a coefficient matrix. The rank of a matrix A is the number of leading entries in echelon form. And this can be row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. We will take a look at both. The leading entry is the first non-zero entry of a row. The rank is also the number of pivot positions, pivot columns, and basic variables. If we have an M by N coefficient matrix A for a homogeneous system of equations, if the rank of matrix A is R, then the solution to the homogeneous system has N minus R parameters with N minus R free variables. Notice N is the number of columns in the coefficient matrix, and R is the rank of the coefficient matrix. Looking at our first example, we will assume this is a coefficient matrix where the variables are x sub one through x sub three. Let's begin by identifying the leading entries for the row echelon form. Remember the leading entries are the first non-zero entry of a row. So in row one, the leading entry is in row one, column one. In row two, the leading entry is in row two, column two. There is no leading entry for row three because all the elements are zero. And now if we compare this to reduced row echelon form, notice how the leading entries are the same. Because we have two leading entries, the rank of matrix A is two. The leading entries also indicate the pivot columns. Column one and column two are pivot columns. The corresponding variables for these columns are the basic variables. And therefore the basic variables are x sub one and x sub two. The other variables are the free variables. In this case, x sub three is a free variable. Notice how the coefficient matrix has three columns and the rank is two. Three minus two is one, and we have one free variable, which also means the corresponding homogeneous system has a solution with one parameter. And now let's take a look at our second example, where we assume the variables are x sub one through x sub five. Looking at row echelon form, we begin by identifying the leading entries, which is the first non-zero entry in each row. We have leading entries in row one, column one, in row two, column three, and in row three, column four. Looking at reduced row echelon form, notice how the leading entries are the same. Because we have three leading entries, the rank of matrix B is three, Column one, column three, and column four are pivot columns, and therefore the basic variables are x sub one, x sub three, and x sub four. The remaining variables, x sub two and x sub five, are the free variables. Notice how the coefficient matrix has five columns, and the rank is three. Five minus three is two. We have two free variables which also indicates the corresponding homogeneous system has a solution with two parameters. I hope you found this helpful.